Eivor, good to see you. I am, uh, uh, Did you want something, or...? I was wondering... What's wrong? Bridget and I were thinking, with everything calming down the way it has, maybe you could find a spare moment, then. You want to be married? Yes, uh, to each other. Yes, I imagined. Gunnar, to see you so happy has been a pleasure. And to marry you would be an honor. Shall I put out a call to any friends abroad? I'll be honest, Eivor. I came here with a lot of you, because nothing and no one kept me back there. The Raven Clan is all the family I need. And Bridget, too. From all she said, she's better off here than with those she calls kin. Just a couple of foundlings we are. Then let's not bother with tradition. If you have your bride and your blade, we will see you wed. As Jarl, I do it gladly. About you and Bridget, when do you wish to be wed? The sooner I can make her my wife, the happier I will be. But we are fine to wait until everything has settled here. Enough waiting. Cool your forge and cover your anvil. Let's get you married. Wonderful. Shall we gather everyone? Gather your wife and your courage. I will bring the people together. I am honored to stand before you, Gunnar, Bridget, on this bountiful day. To celebrate the strength of your bond and to see you wed. I am in witness of a love that inspires and empowers. I invite you now to speak your vows. <laughs> to you, my darling Bridget, I offer this blade forged in flame that burn as brightly as my heart does for you. A blade as sharp as your wit, as glinting as your beauty. May it sing through the air as sweetly as your voice meets my ears. Dio, see you today, Tsiganar. Do never am Lucas, would be the door of heat to tea and Harriet. And I, you, I give you my sword and my promise that I will stand at your side forever. Heed for the prodigy and future and heed at the sword tower of hope and premonition. On the mount of scrying a foresight, paratoivi a sweeping adventure and meeting tea. Your enoid will demarash. A dean as strong, a buratiki. A quell as he fears, but calon and head van dirati. Such poetry, oh dear. You make me cry, my love. Let his head van evangili, Trevoid and beyond. I offer you this ring. And take yours in kind. I will wear it with pride and honor, warmed by the love of so perfect a lady. And I whisk of a Valkalon, adoration I feed and bith. This is the greatest day of my life. Embrace me, my love. <laughs> With our couple now bonded in matrimony, now we drink. Strange feeling, brother. Weddings are the beginning of something, but this feels like something of an end. The first happy union in our home. 
We have matured into something greater. So yes, a beginning and an end, I think. Randvi, saw you looking a little lonely. Thought I might come and join you. How nice. Are you enjoying yourself? I am. I never thought I would see gruff old Gunnar so enraptured by a woman. Enraptured by anything, for that matter. He's a hard one to read, but I am pleased for him, and for this day of rest and respite. After everything, a few days of feasting will do the people some good. They need this. They do. Will you walk with me? Anywhere. Lead on. Something has been on my mind for some time. I am no seer, but I foresaw this day long ago. Not Gunnar's marriage, but our situation. Our success. How do you mean, our success? I mean to say that I saw our settlement flourishing, through our victories in war and in diplomacy. And from the day we set out from Norway, I knew that you would make a fitter leader than Sigurd. It was never in his character to lead. It was always within yours. I see. Do you? You might have warned me. You would not have listened. Fair. I do hope you see it now, in all that you have done for us. And V, you and the people here have done more for me than I could ever repay. I am honored by your faith in me, and your confidence. As I am honored by your love. And I by yours. Eivor, I want you to know that Sigurd and I are... We are severing the bonds of our marriage. We share a love that is steadfast, and I have faith it will forever be so, but my heart is yours. That much he knows. And I believe he is happy for us. Are you sure? Sigurd's desires are bigger than any man or woman can offer. He longs for something more. Something only he can find. All he wants is far, far away. All I need is right here. Shall we find our way back to the wedding? Bridget might give another speech. We must not miss that. About that. I have not understood a single word of her since Gloucestershire. Really? I find she speaks beautifully. With poetry, even. Are you kidding? Am I? Come, we should go. Octavian. Ah, salve, Eivor. How are you? Well, thank you. A question. Does the name Guthben mean anything to you? Guthben? Hmm? It is a name, I think. But no fate... <laughs> so you came to... No. I am Octavian. How are the marriage customs in your country, Aitham? Something like this? Like this in all the most important ways. There are smiles, cheers, and warm embraces. All that is needed, I think. Richard, I gift you a formal welcome to our clan and our family. You are a fine addition to Gunnar's life and to ours. Dear Javier, I couldn't be more happy to see Hope you never see wash and it keeps me sure that years. Yes? Of course, I, uh... As I say, it is wonderful to have you. Gunner, you old trout. You're a married man. Never thought I would see the day. Nor did I. And not for lack of trying. Alvis, I'm surprised you did not serenade the bride and groom with a verse or two. Oh, I wished to, I did. But all that came to me were insults and jibes. Another time, I think. 
Rowan. Ah, Evor. How's the day, my friend? I'm well, Rowan. I had only a small question. Do you know anyone named Guthban? Guthban? Hmm. Nothing comes to mind. Should I? It's not a question of should. Ah. Is it a horse? Uh, no, it's, uh... A lover? No, Rowan, it's... It, it's no one. You came here to ask me about no one. Thank you for your time. been among us for quite some time, Redder. Are you ready to settle? Make a home here? For a year or two, perhaps. 